Londonderry. This was the peaceful prelude to days of rioting and violence, the beginning of a new and bloody chapter in the grim history of the city. As the Apprentice Boys Parade, a traditional Protestant march, wound its way through the streets, there was no hint of the violence that was to rip Londonderry apart. It was only when the march was almost over the tempers began to get frayed. Stones were thrown from the Catholic bogside area. Within minutes, barricades were going up and militant MP Bernadette Devlin was addressing the crowd. The police prepared to defend themselves from the stones that were already beginning to hail down on them. Protestants gathered to reply to the Catholic stones. More barricades went up. Tempers fled. The crowds linked arms, and within minutes, Londonderry was in the grip of the most savage and senseless rioting it has yet seen, with Bogside the battleground. raged on. Rioters threw stones, iron bars, and then petrol bombs. And as the flames illuminated the scene of conflict, casualties mounted. It was reminiscent of the Blitz. As buildings blazed, the rioters sheltered behind their barricades to make more petrol bombs. Police used tear gas, and 300 British troops stood by on the outskirts of the city. Ulster's agonizing experience may hold grave consequences for the future.